What's up, hungry people? One of my go-to meals during the fall and winter is soup. This deconstructed soup version of an American cheeseburger only needs one pot to make, which means I'm spending less time doing dishes and spending more time curled up in my cocoon of blankets. First, we'll grab some sesame buns and make croutons for topping the soup at the end. Just spread the hamburger bun pieces into a single layer and pull apart any pieces that may have stuck together. I gave my buns a spritzing of cooking oil and then popped them into the oven to toast until they were golden brown or for about eight to 10 minutes. While the buns are toasting, we'll grab a soup pot and begin browning our ground beef. I use a 90% lean ground beef, which will leave us with just a tiny bit of grease in the pot after it's all cooked, which we'll then use to brown the rest of our ingredients. Remove the rest of the beef from the pot with a strainer spoon and then set it aside to cool. Next, we'll toss in a whole potato, skin on, and get that browning with a touch of vegetable oil in addition to the grease to help things along. Give the potato a sprinkling of fresh cracked pepper and a pinch of salt. When the potato pieces are starting to get tender and browned like fries, toss in a sweet onion. We'll want to get the onion nice and caramelized to add a sweet level of flavor to the soup. Chopped sandwich pickles go in next to add some twang to the pot. Then we'll go ahead and return the ground beef to the stove. Along with a dash of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, uh, however you say it. Give it a stir and scrape up the brown bits along the bottom of the pot before adding in a generous sprinkling of flour. The flour will help to thicken the soup. Next, we'll add the first round of beef broth along with some parsley and give it a good stir before adding in the rest of the broth. If you add the broth all at once without stirring the flour properly, you'll end up with little beads of cooked flour instead of a smooth, thickened broth. We'll then bring the soup to a rolling boil and simmer for about 10 minutes before tossing in our chopped slices of cheese. I used a Colby Jack cheese, but you can also use classic American cheese and get the same results. When the cheese is starting to melt into the soup, Pour in some heavy cream and reduce the temperature to a simmer for just a few minutes until the cream is completely combined before removing the soup from the heat entirely. I topped my cheeseburger soup with a swirl of jalapeno ketchup, plus my favorite traditional toppings such as a slice of Colby Jack cheese, some fresh tomatoes, and my favorite sweet and spicy pickles. Finally, I topped my soup with the sesame seed burger croutons for a bit of crunch. Don't forget to toss on some french fries to really pull together the entire dish. There's something especially comforting about a delicious soup based on a classic American cheeseburger. In fact, I might just prefer this deconstructed version over the real deal. What's another food you would like to see deconstructed until it barely resembles the original dish? Let me know down in the comments below. If you're still hungry, don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell to be notified of my latest recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. As always, you can find this recipe and many others with step-by-step -step instructions on the servingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.